How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Oros, and this is another episode of Half-Life 1, and in today's episode... Wait, I'm not saying Half-Life 1 at the beginning, I'm just saying Half-Life. Ah, fucked up the opening already. Whatever, I don't feel like doing it again. So... Last episode, we, uh, fought 100 boobs, and... Huge titty fuck, and, uh... I don't know, they were kind of annoying. I don't like them, to be honest. I don't like the fact that they have huge tits for advantage, you know, because it's a, a distraction element. <laughs> it is certainly for that. And and then we get bullied by a bunch of soldiers who beat us up because we're a nerd and they're cool dudes. And then, and then I got locked up in a fucking... in a fucking storage room and they were trying to crush me to death. But then I fled, and now I'm outside of Black Mesa. Which is pretty interesting, because for the mo majority of this Let's Play so far, we've been inside. And it was kind of boring to look at all these fucking labs, and all this bullshit, all the walls were grey and dumb looking. And... Hey, and now we're uh, gonna swim in garbage and shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened, I think I fucked it up. I think what I was meant to do is turn that off and... Or maybe not, maybe I was meant to do that. I got on top of some stupid platform. Check me out, I'm doing parkour. You know, one thing I just reminded myself of. Um, in Gary's mod, I used to have a mod that allowed you to... First of all, I had a lot of mods for Gary's mod. Insane amount of mods. And one of them was... Obviously the map with a big city, I think it was literally called Big City map, whatever, and the thing I used to really like doing on that map is I had a mod where you could build with Minecraft blocks, and what I would do, and I also had a mod where you could like wall run and double jump and do a bunch of shit, so what I like to do is I set up with the Minecraft blocks, I would set up a, a parkour course, yo Barney check it out, he's shooting people and all, all that cool shit, where, where's he going? Left me all alone here, what an asshole. There's fucking uh, radioactive garbage in this level. There's like pieces of bread, wet bread inside a fucking container. Aw, oh, Barney. You fucking idiot. Look, Gordon Rhodes. That fucking uh, Dr. Coomer voice actor. I think it's a girl actually. She was the reason I was at the beginning convinced that Half-Life VR was actually genuinely what they said it was, that it was actually a mod. So I was like, man, that, that NPC actually does sound pretty good. Cause you know, recently I heard a lot of like, voice modulators where people were using like a sample of a character's voice and they were able to make that character say whatever they wanted. And I thought it was genuine. Also, I just reminded myself, um, last episode, I believe, that one thing I was doing during this last play was reading this fan fan fiction called Half Life Full Life Consequence. And uh, this one's the longest. Doesn't mean it's fucking long. During my uh, Terraria let's play, I was reading another fanfic. Because I thought, okay, you know. I'm gonna read this fan fiction, and it's gonna be all fun. But the Terraria one was kind of fucking lame, to be honest with you. Dude, I was looking up like um, I wanted to get a new lamp, and I oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about the lamp, and I found a free one with a Pac-Man ghost. Looks really cool, but I looked up reviews on YouTube of the of these lamps, and it seems like that lamp would be really small and wouldn't really lit up anything. Uh. How about, how about this one? This is like a like a question mark block kind of from Mario. Where is it? Question block. Is it big? That's where I fucking. Ah, uh, this one's expensive because it's not on fucking Chinese stores like every other one. There's a fucking fan fiction with soldier fading away like he's fucking like a Marvel character. Alright, well, I was gonna read this uh, texture glitches, that's nice. Green orbs. What the fuck is with these green orbs? 
Half-Life Full Life Consequences 3 Man. This is uh, the final chapter of this ongoing fanfiction. You can read it yourself, it's made by Squirrel King, uh, the master of fanfictions. You know what, that doesn't mean this is the last fanfiction like this. I found two more that are like this, but what I wanted to do, since these other two fanfictions I found, they're not fanfictions, but I think they're basically Hunt Down the Freeman story written in a way that sounds like Full Life Consequences. You know, with like, all weird and shit. Like this guy's first language was in English, so... Neither is mine, but whatever. And... But I thought I would keep that, reading that, for my Half-Life 2 Let's Play. Which I forgot what I was gonna make record after this. I think Mega Man 9 was going to be the Let's Play after this one. I beat in Mega Man... No, I actually didn't. But there's a reason I didn't and... Uh, I don't think it's that big of an issue. I don't think Mega Man 9 is that hard, to be honest, but... I had an issue with the finale because I did not hit any E-Tanks. Because I wasted them all. And uh, and I hit like only two hits, so basically I just had to beat the final boss without getting hit, which in my case was probably not even possible, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just not gonna do that. And when it's gonna finally go to come down to making a let's play of this game, I'm gonna keep it in mind that I have to have E-Tanks for this fight. But right now I'm just not gonna do that. It's for some reason this map reminds me of Duke Nukem 3D, I don't know why. Lots of swimming underwater. Duke Nukem 3D had a, a lot of swimming underwater. Which I feel like it was actually better than in Half-Life because uh, when in Duke Nukem 3D you go underwater, you basically go to a different location. So, if you were fighting some kind of flying demon underwater, and then you went above the water, the demon wouldn't follow you, which was really nice. No wait, Duke Nukem didn't fight demons, he was fighting aliens. Just like Gorm Freeman. There is a mod actually to Half-Life 1 which turns, I think it in, replaces all the weapons with like Duke Nukem weapons. And it's basically Duke Nukem inside Half-Life and it's great, I would love to fucking play that. Yeah, I was gonna read it, I forgot. John Freeman backflipped out of the sky and landed besides Henry Freeman. John Freeman is uh, Gordon Freeman's brother. Uh, well, Gordon Freeman's dead in this fanfiction, he died in the part 1 and John Freeman was gonna save him. But he didn't manage to. And Henry Freeman is John Freeman's uh, son. And he sucks dick, by the way. I hate him. Henry Freeman looked at John Freeman in the eyes and cried fall out and said, Dad, Mom has died. John Freeman went sad on the ground and moved head real fast up. Combines, you killed wife, John Freeman said with growls. Yes, John Freeman, the dark man said after Henry Freeman's mom is shot in head. The Dark Man said again. That's kind of racist though. I don't know what the fuck is with this racism and this fucking fanfic, but whatever. I love wife like sunrise. Dark Man, you will suffer. John Freeman po pointed and yelled. Okay, it must be pointed, but... What? I'm never fucking sure what the fuck you meant with this. Pointed? Like... Pondered? Pointed? Fuck, I don't know. John Freeman jumped into the sky with kicks and hit Dark Man in the dark man's mask ripped off and John Freeman see the ugly combine face but it looked like human too triple O the dark man scrambled back to combines and combines went to shoot John Freeman but Henry Freeman throwed grenade for John Freeman to shoot them in faces son take people and leave the city it's time I have to kill enemies and make evil go away from here forest of forest of time what the fuck is a forest of time you know, I, I shouldn't have questioned anything in this fanfic anymore. John Freeman said to Henry Freeman and people, John Freeman, we fight, people said, and we didn't, and didn't go any nowhere. That humans have to fight for freedom, Henry Freeman said, and didn't go nowhere neither. I wonder if this guy, what this guy does nowadays, if he, if he still writes, was it just his one episode in life where he started writing fanfics and then he never wrote anything ever again? Man, what am I doing? Jumping around like a dumbass, like it's a fucking surf map or something. John Freeman was afraid for the first time. He didn't want nothing to happen to Henry Freeman because Henry Freeman was John Freeman's saw combine start to run like monsters. Humans 
and Henry Freeman and so Henry Freeman and humans run like brave to combines. John Freeman got quiet and dropped weapon and said, I have to kill fast and bullets too slow. And started killing combines with bare hands. Bears and an animal, you know. I guess he had bare hands. I guess he has he's a fucking wear bear or something. That's a fucking thing I've never seen utilized in like a video game even though there are in Skyrim. Wear bears. You guys know any game where you can turn into a wear bear? In Skyrim there are wear bears, but you can turn into one, which kinda sucks because it's pretty badass in my opinion. Wear fucking bear. Sounds awesome. Yeah, what was I saying? Sorry. Got interrupted. Interrupted my fucking reading. John Freeman was killed killing combines and barking barking necks and humans and Henry Freeman was behind shooting at combines at front. Now combines got scared and ran back to the dark man who was at the door to the big tower that was big onto the sun and went around the dark man and got ready to fight again. Then the dark man pressed the button that made the big tower glow and smoke. John Freeman, you let next boss step on me and made me headcrab zombie combines. Came and put science in me and made me li live and strong and big now. I make you and Henry Freeman head crab zombie. Prepare to die, Gordon Freeman said. Wait, Gordon Freeman said? He's alive again. Gordon Freeman, you are my bro and I killed next boss. Combine science is bad and makes you trick, bro. Stop the button and glowing, John Freeman said. No, Gordon Freeman ang angered back. Gordon Freeman teleported to John Freeman and hit him with a crowbar and John Freeman tried to grab it but couldn't so he punched Gordon Freeman instead. John Freeman and Gordon Freeman was fighting for life and death when the combines and humans started shooting each other again. Henry Freeman got in front of humans and saw the tower smoke and glow more and more like lightning clouds. This is already way fucking more entertaining and interesting than the fucking Terraria fanfic I was reading. That one was just fucking boring and annoying. Also, um, Fending with a crowbar reminded me of a scene in Evil Dead, the 2013 version, remake of the original, I suppose. And there was a scene where one of the girls is possessed and she has a crowbar, and she goes to hit one guy, and he kind of raises his hand. Oh crap! Raises his hand to cover himself from getting hit. And I thought that was the most glorious scene in the m movie. Because what happens, she hits him in the arm and it kind of splits his hand in the middle and looks so gross. Another scene was pretty fucked up when they were using the automatic bread cutter knife. Which, you know, was like a kind of like an automatic knife that moved on... That moved. And she cut off... And she saw how her hand was getting corrupted, so she cut it off. And there was a scene where she stands in the kitchen with her hand hanging off just by the skin. Which immediately at the beginning of the movie when I first saw them using that fucking automatic uh, knife I fucking knew it's gonna come back at some point to... Oh Jesus! It's gonna come back to fucking be used and it's gonna be gross and disgusting. Look, I'm gonna hide like a puppy. This asshole is so annoying, he shoots out like little beads. Yeah, I got kill right, I got everyone I need. I'm just gonna sit here all- oh my fucking god, I'm just gonna sit here all by myself. Alright. I'm fucking back. Ah shit, I hope I didn't fucked up the commentary. I was supposed to read, man. I forgot. Guarantee Freeman teleported to John Freeman, I read that one. Henry Freeman shot, it will explode, so Henry Freeman and the people shot bullets in the- and bombs at combines, humans kind could press the button to make it stop. And Henry Freeman went to combines car and shot all the combines in it, and went to the top and used the turret turret gun. Henry Freeman made the turret gun shoot combines and bullets, cut them in two and a half. Henry Freeman kept shooting combines, and the rest of humans got closer and closer to button to stop it. Combine shot at the humans and made some die, but no one cared because they had to do it. And Combine started coming out of the huge tower to stop the humans. There was too much Combines and humans could go to the button no more and the tower was all smoke and glow now except for a little bit. John Freeman knew it was too late and humans could stop button. John Freeman had barely time but was still fighting Gordon Freeman. Bro, it is 
time, I'm sorry, John Freeman said to Gordon Freeman. Time for you to die, John Freeman, Gordon Freeman said back. No, bro, John Freeman said and kicked Gordon Freeman in tech part of the face that was, like, combined. He has like a sausage head. Fucking stupid. And his bees are the worst part of him. You do get a gun. I think you do get his gun later, but... I, I still don't like it. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, I tried to fight like a man. The science flew off Gordon Freeman's face and landed and blowed up and in a boom and Gordon Freeman stood and fall. Bro, Gordon Freeman said, so John Freeman get closer to the ground like Gordon Freeman. Combines made me trick, bro. I'm sorry, Gordon Freeman said. I know, bro, but you're a hero, John Freeman said back to comfort Gordon. Save humans and Henry Freeman, Gordon Freeman said, quiet like pain and bread slowly and slower. John Freeman hit Gordon Freeman and saw eyes shut and breath stopped, but Gordon Freeman hit smile on his face. John Freeman let go of Gordon Freeman and went back up on his feet and looked his head around and saw trees and animals and humans then looked at Glow Tower and knew that had to be done. Son and people get back, John Freeman said out real loud to Henry Freeman. Front flipped off tower went with people back to John Freeman and bucked, bucked bullets and brackets. Son, take people on motorcycle and leave city, make people uh, safe, son, and nothing happened to them, John Freeman said to Henry Freeman. But that I fight, Henry Freeman said. No, son, go with people, John Freeman said, so Henry Freeman and humans went on motorcycle. Henry Freeman started on motorcycle and started to go, but slow because he didn't, didn't want it to. The Combine saw and said stop the humans and went charged at motorcycle. John Freeman walked towards Combines and made first fist with hands. John Freeman punched and hit Combines in front of in front, but all Combines and back shot rackets and mesh mesh shit guns? Machine! Oh my god, that's how he spelled machine. M A C double E E N guns. A rocket hit John Freeman, but he got up and killed more combines. Then a combine went at John Freeman back and stabbed him. But John Freeman got knife out without a K at the beginning. That makes sense. You don't fucking spell it knife. Got knife out and stabbed combine in brain. In brain. Seen in the membrane. Combines got close and hit John Freeman's body with bullets, but John Freeman hey, kicked no Combines back. Shut up, Barney. John Freeman kept fighting Combines and put head up the tower and saw it brightly. And saw it bright and break the... then turned around its last second and saw motorcycle in far off safe place and was happy. Henry Freeman and the people in the motorcycle saw the tower go like million stars and fire and loud noise, then the people went down, but Henry Freeman kept going and didn't saw nothing. After the world was nice and humans had new city and happy because the combines was gone and nobody was slave or sad, President Henry Freeman and people and animals and, and Earth had peace and in the middle of a new city was a statue that said, John Freeman, savior of humans. The end. Gordon Freeman didn't get a statue. He made a fucking spelling error on the John Freeman statue. He should have fucking... Should do something about it. You know what? That, well, that was the last chapter. That was the whole story of John Freeman. I don't know, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm actually kind of sad a little bit about the fact that it's that it's over. That we're never again going to fucking read a new fanfic about John Freeman. Man, I'm a little fucking sad to be honest. I'm going to uh, kill myself. There's no other way. Oh, my fucking back hurts like a motherfucker. There's a new K.O. the Kangaroo game, and I recently saw there was like an animated teaser with crabs. I suppose crabs is gonna are gonna be the main villain. Perhaps I don't know. I heard a new movie, no, Tenet. Uh, it's like an action movie. I don't know what the fuck the premise of the movie is, but I heard it sucks. Let's go. Two party, go, go, go.
I don't know, I'm looking at my fucking... The shit I retweeted, just... I don't know, I haven't talked about any of these fucking... Any of these goddamn, uh, gaming games. I didn't get a chance to. Yeah, so I heard this uh, new DLC. I think there was like a gameplay video of it. It's like an evil train, and one thing I hope out of the DLC is that they're gonna do more justice to Maya, and they're gonna do like some kind of heartbreaking scene where, sh where like Creek has to cope with the fact that she's dead. And ho and you know what I thought would be kind of cool, if maybe Creek. I don't know, came back in like Borderlands 4, let's say, as uh, Ava's personal bodyguard, because he feels responsible for her now, in some way, maybe. It could be cool, but I don't know if Krieg is gonna, at the end of the DLC, end up being sane again, or is it perhaps like he's going to... I don't know, because sane Krieg sounds fucking lame, to be honest. My idea is maybe what's going to happen is Krieg is gonna have some deal going on where he's about to die. I don't think it worked. Did it? I, I think it worked. It blew one of them up. That's very nice. Wait, was there even a monster inside one of those? What were they shooting them for? I mean, what did I set, set up those bombs for? These guys aren't as tough as they seem. I just fucking obliterated them. Because, you know, I am Gordon Freeman, the savior of humans. Yeah, that's it. That's the reason. Yeah, so my idea was maybe uh, Krieg will have to sacrifice his sane version to save his own life. And Krieg will forever remain insane, but he's not evil, you know, he's just insane. But I guess what's been keeping Krieg from committing murder and just acting like a true psychopath was uh, his sane version being able to kill him instantly when he, whenever he would hurt an innocent person. So with like his sane version gone, I guess it could mean that now the insane version is in charge of judging whoever is worthy of being murdered and who is not. So I don't know, episode's about to end, so see you fellas in the next episode, bye.